Hi, my name is Hing Kwan Lei. For your convenience, you can call me Lee. Today, I'm going to share you something. He said, "Whatever happened, there's three step approach." Just stay with me. I know I like I said. I for the Instagram, I suppose be show something for the funnels. But when I get in on there today, you know, it's a little bit later. So I saw some posts. So I just, you know, change my mind because I feel like a lot of people still worry. They scared, you know. They keep telling people like what you do is not, it's it's not possible. Those kind of thing. So since I said I want to share those positive thing, and I post three thing instead of that. That like a Mr. Bob Proctor like a. When someone asks him about recommendation, recommendation the book, he mentioned something. Is this one is what you think of me? It's none of my business. So those basically really resonate with me.、Uh, I remember, like I said, when I came to New York.、Uh, At the beginning, you know, the first job I just work in the restaurant because I was totally new. Like the third day, I came to New York, I start working, and there's like a Chinese restaurant. Of, you know, the people from、uh, different cities. You know, I come from North East, so basically, I don't know the people from South. But I do hear when they talking. You know, it's like a, I didn't realize because you know I came with my husband. He apply green card. When they ask me the thing, I just you know tell the truth, right? I didn't know until later on. Some girl, like you know, like she told me, you know, everybody laugh at you, thinking you really, really new to the U.S. You don't know how hard getting green card. That's the first time I realized. Wow, people, why are you talking? They ask me question. I just answer the question. But anyways, but from then I just realized. I need to be careful when they ask you question. They're not like I don't trust them anymore. I just feel like I don't want to hear those nonsense. Anyway, nowadays the same thing. Don't worry about the people, how they think about you. It's the most important things you thinking who you are. So don't let outside thing control you. And also, you know, here because Mr. Proctor talking about you have to kind of repeating stuff to make an image in your head. So I found this one, so I wrote it down and said, "I'm so happy and grateful now that I have made the decision to shift my paradigm, so that I can attract the good I design into my life." By rising to its frequency, like I told you guys, after late Julys, all sudden I just kind of get into this. But like I said, maybe because of life leading us this way. But then you have to make a decision to do things right. But then he mentioned you have to change your paradigm, otherwise nothing will change. So now I'm just kind of follow his direction, and like for me, I think the thing I have like what I would design. I don't know. I was joking one time, you know, the when I learning from、uh, like funnel flicks, the you know some、uh, gurus they talking about when you talking and when you tell stories, you talking about you know you have a dream, you know you have a goal. In my head, I was joking. Do I really have my own dream? Because I feel like every time when people ask me, all、oh, like I'm thinking myself, all I'm thinking about, I try to show my husband and my daughter's work. But then I realize, you know what? It's okay. Maybe their dream is my dream, and and now because they are my loved ones, I try to show because I really believe as artists, they're good ones. Anyways, that's my story. I share. I remember when I first started. I told you guys, you know, whatever happened, there's a three step approaching because here maybe too small, you cannot read. So I read for you guys, okay? So basically, it. Let me see who is the original one. Oh, I even can't read. Oh, Mr. Bob Proctor said that this.、Uh, the, the his friends is called Michael Beckwith. He said. No matter whatever happened, 
there's a three step approaching to it. It doesn't matter what happens to you. So first, it is what it is. Just accept it. It's either going to control you, or you are going to control it. Number two, harvest the good. There's a good, and everything. I love the term he using, harvest, because that sound like a you know farmer. Number three, forgive all the rest. I I remember I think I shared this couple of days ago. But like I said, we need it repeated to get get into it, right? I do believe this thing. Like、uh, even sometimes my daughter asks me, "Say, mommy, why don't you watch news? You know, because you need to know the news." But for me, I just don't. I feel like I cannot control those, and most of them is like so negative. Why? It's not. It doesn't mean I ignore them, but I just don't want waste my time there. And anyway, we cannot change, right? We just to we need like I keep saying, you can only change what you can. If you cannot, just face it, deal with it. I think that's kind of resonate with this, right? It is what it is, accept it. And also the second one said harvest good. For me, that's why I'm keep thinking. Even I get my shingles in early March, it was hurt, but I told myself maybe it. You know, it's meant to be. Try to challenge me. See if my, if I have you know tolerance this this hurtfulness, and at the same time you see, and then the the this lockdown thing, and happened to give me the time to stay home, so I can spend more time learning. So I think this one is a good. That's why the other day someone asked something. Twenty twenty was you want to use for one word to apply twenty twenty. So I just said opportunity, because basically you can use the time to study more. Anyway, and then number three he said forget forgive all the rest. I believe those things because basically if you keep everything in your mind and most time we keep really keeping the. Positive, the you no know, negative things. So you know, so and so hurt you. Those things hurt yourself too, because I realize when you're like, what do you call in your mind, you have too much going on. It's your health getting bad. Like the other day, my husband mentioned something like, "Oh, after Mark, we get into the Howard two years, you didn't get a food, you know, food allergy." I didn't realize until he said that. And I think maybe it's true because maybe I was in the happy mood. I didn't even know. But anyways, like I said, nobody can change outside world, but we can change here. So always keep the positive thing, even though you know, of course, our conscious mind like we we cannot, you know, just ignore like what you call you you. Feel like whatever going outside, we need to know, but don't press those information too deep down. So don't let them get into you. So always try to think about the positive way, because basically, remember we're talking about the law of attraction. So if you thinking about positive, you you attract more positive. So, anyways. I think, like like I said, happiness is the choice. You make the decision to decide what you want. Take also, don't add, let anybody else tell you what you should do. You thinking yourself, what do you want to do? Like、uh, Mr. Bob Proctor said, be the star of your own movie. Anyway, I hope you like this. That's so far I have for today. If you like it, please share and use sub subscribe my channels. Like、uh, I'm still new, I'm learning, but I keep basically I use this as kind of my document. And I was even joking the other day. I said I hope this whole journey I document in the future. I know because basically maybe I don't know how long. Maybe after two or three months later, when I look back, maybe I even feel like whoa, why I'm talking that way. But anyway, we learn every day what I got. I just share with you guys because with this, you know everything going on. I hope we all share loud. So just 
brought up, you know, like whoever is there in the what do you call? You try to be the rainbow for the other people's life. Don't let the, too many negative things going on in your head. Okay, talk to you soon. Don't forget to share if you love it.